Alright, welcome back to Audio Describe Gaming. I'm your host, Matt. Just got the dungeon map. I'm in the Fire Temple playing some Ocarina of Time. So, let's go through the next key door. So, it looks like I'm maybe about halfway through this dungeon. Alright, so let's see where I am. I'm in... Oh, this is the room where I got the dungeon map from, but I'm in the main section of it. So there's a chain link walkway here, and other than that, the floor is lava. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you, as soon as I start running, um, there's going to be a wall of fire behind me, so i got to just outrun it. There's one key door here, but I don't have any more keys, so I'm going to wait before I go through that, and I'm going to take another route. Oh, I'm really outrunning that fire. Alright. So there, there is another door here that is not opened by a key. Let's go in. Alright, so now I'm at the upper level of that labyrinth. There's a fire slug here. I'm going to shoot it with arrows from a distance. Alright, so its fire is extinguished, but it's still alive. So there's a floor here that I can bomb out. I'm going to wait to do that because there's a Goron here that I can free. Yes, Navi, I know that there's a... I know, I know that there's a floor I can bomb. So there's a switch here I can stand on. And it freed the Goron way on the other side of the room. So I'm going to go ahead go over there. There's a fire slug here. I'm going to kill it first so it doesn't sneak up on me later. And then there's a third fire slug way over there by the Goron. I'm going to shoot it with an arrow. God. Four arrows to kill this thing. Okay, whatever. I'm starting to run low on bombs and arrows, but I'll find something. Let me free this Goron. See what he says. Alright. If you find a place that you can see on the map but can't reach, try playing your ocarina. Oh, he means that, that song of time uh, section. Alright, so let me... Yep, there's another small key, so I can open that one key door from earlier. But first, I'm going to bomb out that section of the floor and see where that takes me. I forgot how fun this game was. I love just figuring out the puzzles in the dungeons. Like, they're challenging, but they're not, like, so challenging that they're ridiculous. Alright, so let's bomb out that section of the floor and see what's down there. Alright, so I can jump down. Yeah, okay. So there's a long hallway. And I'm going down... Oh, another Goron that I can free. And it creates a shortcut between that one bottom level uh, and here. Oh, this one's all glitchy looking too. Weird. So let's see what he says. Somewhere in this temple, you're sure to meet up with some creatures that dance as they attack. Arrows won't hurt them. Looks like you might need some of the Goron's special crop. That's all I have to tell you. Yeah, it's a mini-boss. There's at least two of them, maybe even three, I don't know. But either way, I need more bombs, and, like, I have eight left. That's it. I got another small key, so let's go through that key door. So I'm gonna head back up to the labyrinth, and go back to the previous room where that wall of fire was that was chasing me, and I'm gonna open up the next area. I still haven't even found the compass or the dungeon's treasure yet. Ooh, the fire slugs all respawned. Wonderful. Alright, I'm just gonna get away from them. They'll charge you if they see you. Alright, so I'm back in the room with the wall of fire. I don't know if it goes the other way or not, we'll find out. Yep, it goes the other way. Alright, so I'm gonna go up to where the key door is. Alright, open it up. So let's see where I am now. Long hallway with some torches. And there's a door here. Alright, 
So I'm in a large circular room with a pillar in the center, and it looks like there's some doors leading into the pillar. Um, up top, there's a block that looks like it can be knocked down. There's a strange big oh stone stake stuck in the ground, and there's weird small pillars, maybe about the size of like small poles about my height, all throughout this circular room. Or, well, I would say it's half circular. So let's see what we got. Let's jump down. There's also a couple of pillars that breathe fire. So there's a door here. I already know this is a decoy door, so I'm, I'm not even going to try that. I am going to bomb it out, though. Maybe there's a real door behind it. Nope. Alright, so those strange pillars that were just distributed around the room I was talking about, uh, some of them, in between them, the uh, walls of fire appear. So I don't know until they get until I get close enough. So it's like a labyrinth with invisible walls. So that's always good. Ah, some fire appeared. Let's see hearts. Yeah, hearts are always good. What I need are bombs. I got rupees. Plenty of rupees. Alright, so there's a key door here that I can open, so let's go in there first, see what I got. So I'm in a long hallway, there's a Goron trapped, but there's no switch to free him. But it looks like there's some legend, some ledges up above, but I can't quite reach them yet. So there's a door here that I can go through. So it looks like there's a second level to that room. Alright, I'm in the next half of the semicircular room, there are more of these pillars everywhere. More fire bats. Alright, keep moving. There's a switch that I can step on. So the switch actually lowers the fire over here. Alright, so that's the way I need to go. So there's a wall of fire. The switch lowers the wall of fire. And I just have to make it over there before it... Uh, oh my god! Hang on, I'm gonna wait for it one more time. Yeah, I just have to get... I, I have to get there before the wall returns. Before the timer runs out. There we go, I made it. And there's a door here. Ooh, bombs! I got five more bombs, good. I was starting to run low. I was in the single digits. Ooh, five more bombs. God, oh my god, just, just give me this pot to break. Alright, a rupee, whatever, I didn't need that. Anyway, I got ten more bombs. There's a decoy door here, but if I bomb it, it's gonna reveal the real door. Sweet. Ooh, first mini boss. So I'm in. All right, so I'm in a, a square room, and there's a single block in the middle, surrounded by a, a cylinder of fire. And this is where the mini boss is. So it looks kind of like a scarecrow, but it's got like a bomb for a head. And yep, I I bombed its head out. So whenever I bomb it, its body disappears, and it's just got a little bomb head with these tiny little legs and I can slash it with my sword ooh I'm, I'm getting this thing alright so now it's gone back into the fire and respawned its body but its head is a or sorry its body is a different color now so it was normal like yellow fire then it was blue so I just have to keep hitting the head when it uh... oops I have to keep hitting the head when it when it detaches from the body and the body dissolves. Um, I'm not getting as many hits this iteration that I was the last time. Ooh! Alright, he went back in the fire. What color is he going to be now? He's green. Okay. So I'm going to bomb him out. Alright, his body dissolved. There's just his head that looks like a little bomb. What is this thing even called? I don't know. Alright, and the head exploded. Alright, so it looks like 
Uh, I can go back the way I came, or I can stand on the square in the middle. I'm going to stand on the square in the middle, so it's elevating me up to the next level. Alright, let's see where it takes me. I'm in a small room surrounded by tiles, but there's a door here. So it looks like there's a switch that I can cut. I'm in kind of a circular room. There's a chain link wall here that I can climb. Alright, so there's some fire here. If I hit... If I hit that switch with a bomb, it'll make the fire disappear. Yep. And I can climb the chain link wall. God. This, uh... This temple is tall more than anything. So there's a door here. Let me see where it takes me. So I'm in a large spiral-shaped spiral room. There's a central pit here that puts me... Oh, down by that area where that Goron was that I said I couldn't free. So I'm actually going to save real quick. There's a switch here. So I'm going to step on this switch and I'm going to spiral all the way up to the top of this room where the dungeon's treasure is. So I need absolute concentration here, pure silence. Alright, so it's revealed the treasure chest. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, reload. Yeah, I fell down the pit. I do not want to fall down the pit. Alright, so step on the switch. Yep, removes the column of fire around the treasure chest. Oh my god, no. I am so bad at this. Oh my god, reload. This is why I have quick save, ladies and gentlemen. Oops. Oh my god, I didn't even step on the switch that time. God, I'm so bad at this. Alright, step on the switch. I'm going to need to take some meds after this. This is stressful! Oh my god. Okay, so that one section with a real narrow bit of path. I need to... I need to really be careful there. I'm going to reset the camera so it's like centered. Alright, I'm there. Alright, so I got the dungeon's treasure. Whew, I didn't even get the compass yet. What gives, guys? So it's the Megaton Hammer. It's a giant sledgehammer, uh, and I can, like, really smash stuff with it. All right, so I just need to go back to the beginning of this room, and there's a platform. Oh, that stupid bat. So there's a platform that I can smash with this hammer, and that's going to take me down to where I need to go. Having the dungeon's treasure is going to help me out tremendously. You know, let me equip it. So I can actually use it in a lot of places. I can use it in lieu of bombs, uh, because this thing has the striking strength of a bomb, literally. So let me go back to where I was. There's a platform here that I can stand on. It kind of gives a little when I stand on it, but if I smack it with my hammer, it falls and I'm down to the next level. And then there's a, a pillar here that I can smash, and it knocks the pillar out of the way. God, this thing is cool. Alright. Ooh, fire bats. Ooh, hearts. I need hearts after I got hit by fire bats too many times. But I only have ten arrows left. So that sucks. There's some boxes here I can smash. Oh, of course they don't have arrows in them. There's a pillar here that I can knock down. So I'm in a long L-shaped room with like a recessed like floor. So I hit the pillar and it made stairs down that I that I can descend down to the bottom of this room. Oh, okay, that's why those boxes were there. So there's a switch that I can step on that opens up a door to the next room. But uh, I need a box to set on it permanently. Um, So let me, let me go back to the previous room, and it'll reset this room right here, and I'll have those boxes back. There's a bunch of fire bats in here, so what I'm actually going to do is clear those out first. So go back to the previous room. 
Go back into this room, the boxes will reset. I got that bat. Got that bat. There's two more bats. Uh, you know, I'm gonna try it with this first box without killing them, because it's just a, it's just extra time. So I'm gonna run with this box. So this box is made of wood, so the fire bats can totally get rid of it. But I'm gonna set this box down. Alright. I'm through. I'm in the next room. Alright, so it's just a small room, but there's another one of those pillars that I can knock down. Once I get to the bottom of this puzzle... Yep, I'm in the... I'm in the big central room with all the pillars of fire again, so this is as good a point as any to stop. So, I will see you guys next time.